we will trace a very simple query on a test table called t, and we'll change the bind variable a couple of times. Uh, there are zero no, or, or only one rows where column ID contains the value 1, and there are hundreds of thousands of rows where the value is 99. And what we'd like to do is see if ACS will kick in and give us a different plan. So let's give it a go. Oops. You can see I'm running version 11.2.3.203. And we've just run our script. And we have zero rows where the value is 1. And uh, I misspoke. Not hundreds of thousands, but 144,000 rows where the value is 99. We ran that query again. Let me change it back to 1 and ran it again. Now, right, Dave. Now, to interject at this point, one please. would hope that the bind variable peaking means that it will have expanded colon n to 1 mm -hmm. at that very first execution. Absolutely correct. So let's, let's take a look. Now, I had already gone through the uh, process of going and getting the trace file and, and, and tracing it. And, and let's just take a quick look at what happened here. So in my first query, it used the index on the column ID. And by the way, I, I used tkprof with the explain feature, just to sort of show you how that can be a little bit dangerous and misleading at times. But here's how it looked the first time. And I did get a hard parse, you can see here. And we did use the index. There were very little rows, in this case, uh, zero rows. And so we know that peaking did incur, occur, and the index was used. The explain plan, in fact, is correct. So explain equals is, is a dubious option, but it worked out this time. In the second execution of the query, we still have the same plan. The easy way to tell is to look at the plan hash value, 1, 7, 8, 9, and so forth, and it's the same value. So we know we have the same plan, but we also know that we changed the value to 99. And this wasn't the exact explain plan. You can see I changed my value, my data a little bit since I, I ran this, but you can see that we, we got a significantly different number of rows from the index uh, range and the table access. It still used the index, no hard parse. Explain plan is still correct according to the row source operation. However, the third execution, which is the second execution with the variation, the great variation, of number of rows return and selectivity, the, the, the two litmus tests to turn this thing on. So the, the third execution of the query, we see that the plan hash values change. We definitely have a different plan. Something must be different. Something forced the hard parse. What forced it was adaptive cursor sharing. So, so it reached out, the SQL engine reached out, gave some information back, put it in the cursor cache, and, and Oracle said, wait, the, the selectivity is very different, the number of rows returned is very different. This query had been marked for re-optimization. And sure enough, we can see that we have a new plan with a full table scan. And the same kind of problem that always happens with explain plan commands happens in my, my trace when I ask for it. You can see clearly that it is incorrect. Explain doesn't peak on the first time you use a query that has bind variables in it, nor does it peak here. 
and say, oh, it's now we're using 99 rather than 1 as a value. So just, just be aware of that. Fourth and final execution, remember that we changed the value back to 1. Notice that the plan hash went back to the original plan hash, so we're back to using the index, which we hope we would be. And sure enough, the index is used to solve this particular query. So it takes several executions in order for ACS to kick in. Now, several is uh, a, a, a vague term, and I don't think we can qualify what several means. In this case, it was so extreme that several only meant, meant uh, really the, the, the second execution was re-optimized with the drastically different bind variable value of 99. Uh, but it's not going to always be this clear cut to satisfy the two litmus tests. Well, that was an excellent demonstration, Dave. As with regard to how long it takes, now, if this were a production website where you're executing the same query millions of times in an hour, in my experience is it's going to take it's only going to take a few minutes for things to stabilize, and then you'll get a set of plans there. Per ready and waiting, that should handle virtually all the bind variable combinations that come in. That's the idea, anyway. There, there is a, there is, if you know the situation is going to occur, and it's going to occur very fast, I mean, I think John, you know, with his experience with this in the field, you know, shed some very good light on it. It's going to happen fast. If it becomes an incredibly diff difficult problem because it's not happening fast enough, you know the query should be marked bind aware, there is a hint that you can use, and I'll mention those on a, on a subsequent slide.